Okay, so that was not our finest hour. No, it is not. Uh, what in, in the future, what you might want to do is equip some light armor. Okay. Let's see. Fire starter. Fire starter's not bad. Bank heist, bank heist cash. Actually, uh, if, if fire starters are normal, grab that. Hector needs you in the war against the Mendoza cartel. Mendoza! <laughs> There's at the Mendoza wagon weapon shipment at the airport. Retrieve cartel data from the FBI office. Burn down the bank holding Mendoza money. Wow, that's pretty ambitious. Yes, it is. Potential stealth bonus. So I'm going to switch, actually. Job payout, $350,000. Back to my stealthy build. They have something set up so you can do that quickly. Like if you know, if you want to, like, can you have like like sets of equipment? Or... Uh, I, I, it's my skill set. That's what takes the longest time to change. Oh, okay. So you can have uh, one skill set at the beginning, and then you reach a certain rank. You spend a little bit of money, you can get buy another. Oh, neat. It says respect the skill tree. Does that does, what is does that? It, do you have to, it do you, refunds how does that work? ninety. <coughs> wow. Excuse me. It refunds I think uh, seventy percent or ninety percent of your money, and all your uh, points go back. Okay. And you can so say if you started to build an enforcer, didn't like it, and you wanted to switch to something else, you could do that. All right. So let's see. I could. Uh... Ballistic vest, light ballistic vest. Yes. What should I, what should I go with? Um, it depends. You might want to try fugitive. Fugitive? Yes, the skill tree. Oh, the skill tree. So that gives you uh, deployable med kits. They're one-time use, but they'll refill your own personal health, and you can put them anywhere. Hmm. Okay, I don't have any skill free skill points at the moment. I don't think. Okay. Uh, then I would recommend the lightweight ballistic vest. The light ballistic vest. Okay. Contract length, three days. What does contract length affect? That's how long it's going to take. You get... So those missions we all did were one day contract lengths. So, right. so it was one mission, you go in, assets screen, go out, mission's over. Three, uh, the number of days means we go into multiple loading screens. Oh, okay. And we'll go be doing different objectives on different days. Okay, all right, yeah. I noticed there was some pretty, yeah, there's like intercept the shipment and burn the bank. Okay, I see. Firestarter's a good one because... We'll be doing a mix of uh, quiet and loud. All right, Bing's plan. Airport. A little bird told me the Mendozas are flying in more weapons in preparation for the war with Hector. We go to their airport, find the weapons, and take them all or destroy them. Preferably take them, as the money will be great that way. That is, that is one of the things that made me say, this guy does not speak English. The phrase, the uh, take them as the money will be great that way, just sounds weird. Yeah, it's grammatically correct, but it's it's a bit odd. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to buy... Oh, fuck it, I'll buy all these assets. I don't care. All right, so... For the most part, though, the English is, in this is fine for the most part. Though. Yes. So this is a, more of a personal challenge for me. Uh, John, would you mind following my lead? I want to see... By all means. Uh, on, so the first day is an, a raid on an airport. So we're supposed to come to a small private airport. And I already used my no Russian joke, damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a private airport. Uh, the minute that they see you, then they'll call the cops. Uh, this this day used to be stealthable. So, like, you used to make it so that they the it was possible to complete without them seeing you. Mm -hmm. And they changed that, so there's no more stealth option on this map, but they didn't change the programming. So it's actually technically still stealthable, but there's no reason to do it. So I'm going to try and do it anyways. So 
Are our masks already? Um, should I follow you? Yes. Okay. Because am I already masked? Am I already masked? Then I guess? you are. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. So he doesn't show the option to put the mask on. So. Is that a bow? Yep. There we go. Okay. So, let me see here. Did you just bow and arrow the lock off? Yes, I did. That's kind of it's, uh, it's destructible. So it's just marked as this can be destroyed, but uh, they expect you usually to use, like, pistols. I right. used a bow. So we're gonna try and just stay quiet as long as possible. Wait, I'm. Wait for me. Okay. Oh, okay. I mean, again, it's not the end of the world if this goes loud, but it's just entertaining. Sure. Okay. So while you're in mode like this, if you press mm -hmm. F while hovering your cursor over someone. Mm -hmm. You can mark them, so that makes them light up. So I, what I would have you do is just kind of look around and try and mark as many guards as possible. I'm just gonna start killing people. I see there's a glowing red guy. Yes. Is that someone you marked or? It is. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of these people. Saw me. Somebody's question marking. Yeah. Oh god. All right. Pull your guns out. They saw me. All right. So follow me over here, John. And we gotta clear this hangar out, so let's just shoot everybody. Red barrel! Does that serve the traditional red barrel function? Uh, no. Really? There's only one map, one map out of all of these missions that has exploding barrels. Uh, it's not even a barrel, it's a fire extinguisher. Old design choice. It is. So right now we need to steal or uh, destroy weapons. So uh, I'm gonna just start unloading these weapons. What are the weapons? Uh, there's those oh, there's just loot bags over there. Okay, where do I? Oh, do, and where do we put them? In, oh, we're gonna put them in the van. Yep. Of the truck. Mm hmm. Okay, I'll just. I'll keep an eye out for hostiles. Seems quiet for the moment. Yeah. Oh wait, no. Here comes the cops. Look too soon. So that's three, four. How is that? Oh, there must be bags up there. Yep, there they are. Uh, once we get all the bags laid out, then we'll Start picking the up, them up and cutting a swath towards the van again. Load down a couple of dudes here. I should not have taken the bow, I was an idiot. Is that your primary weapon? Yes. <laughs> it's great because it's a one hit kill, but it also really? sucks because I have to charge it. If I don't charge it for long enough, then the bow just kind of limply throws an arrow at someone and it bounces off them. It's just hilarious that that's actually an option. Mm -hmm. It's got the high. It's got the highest base concealment of any primary weapon. That doesn't really make much sense. No, it doesn't. Bows are not. <laughs> but I guess it's because you could like if if someone was walking in somewhere with a bow. You wouldn't think bank robber or whatever. You would think weird. You just think, why the hell does this guy have a bow? Whereas somebody with a collapsible <laughs> rifle is up to no good. Yes. Yeah, maybe the guy with the bow, he's just like, he was like, he's going to the Renaissance Festival and he got lost or something. In a suit. Yes. 
and a clown mask. And a Richard Nixon mask painted in clown colors. You can get a Richard Nixon mask. Oh, that is an option? Yeah. Okay, I am just shit at aiming with this bow. It's awful. <laughs> it's almost as if they're not why they're not used in modern battles for a reason. I know. It's weird. Rifle is gone, although I do have that am ammo bag. Yeah, you want to put that away. down. How do- which button is that? Uh, G. G. So it's your ability. Yeah, Deploying ammo bag. bag. So then you want to crouch and take from it. Yeah, you gotta hold for most of the stuff. How much ammo, how much does it contain? Uh, it should contain two full ammo loads worth. Does that con now, can any of us use that then, or? Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't think my bow recharges. Oh, yeah, it does, okay. So, uh, I'm not gonna bother with it, because I can just pick up all this other ammo. Alright. Are we done drilling into that van yet? Or the truck? Yes. So can I start loading stuff in? Yep, you want to just start bringing stuff straight to the van. Now, where are you taking it? Oh, no, no, no. We don't want to put it on these vans. Oh, no, we, wanna we don't. Put oh, it, we, don't. Uh, we want to put it on the vans that we came from. Oh, okay. I'm an idiot. Never mind. No, that's fine. It marks, uh, so you see up there, the little 65 Ah, uh, nice. That, that, that always designates where you want to go. Okay, I've got a bag now. Luckily, they don't seem to pay attention to these. And if we were going for quick, quicker, we could... Are, are we dumping them all? You want me to dump them here? Uh, I'm, this is how I move them. I'd rather move them all at once. It's just, it's personal preference whether you want to bring them all at once or if you want to take them one at a time. Okay, so. Shield guy's kicking the shit out of me. <laughs> Damn you, Nick Fury. Right. Let's see if we get it. Whoa! <laughs> that guy went flying. Yeah, they're a grenade. Or more specifically, more accurately, I threw a bundle of dynamite. Actually, since you have the Game of the Year edition, you should have the Molotov cocktails, right? Well, currently I just have grenades. Case it. Oh, okay. Those will unlock, I think, later. Closer to where we are, where me and the AI are. All right. From this point, yeah, now we can just start carrying these weapons one up, uh, up the hill one at a time if we wanted. Damn, I'm so slow with this thing. Yeah, I know. Actually, that's not even the slowest. Um, well, I, I have that bonus to it. Yeah. And then there's a heavier weapon. A heavier loot item called the artifact. It's like... Like, imagine if oh, a real person... Oh, God, I, I walked right into the smoke. Oh, God. I'm down. I got you. I don't have my screaming ability anymore because I had to switch perks. Uh oh. Go away, there we go. 